the call. You know, it's going to be a uh, crash on the highway. Ten four break. Three o two from five hundred. Uh, go for three o two. Do you need me for TSU or just normal assistance? Uh, we can have you for TSU over by postal three nine four. Ten four. Uh, uh, advise units, it's going to be postal 143, it's going to be a truck uh, that stopped working, blocking all lanes. Probably five, I could have more. Good. I'll be making my way to so. Send four. Alrighty, so right now we're uh, en route to, I believe, a disabled transport truck on the uh, 401, I believe. Unless I'm mistaken here. But I'm just going to be following uh, Constable Anderson to the senior since I don't actually know the postal code. Quite for 90, London. Sergeant 90, go ahead. Show me in service, Danny. I don't think Anderson is. In service, sir? <laughs> Three or two from five hundred. Go for three or two. Can you give me an updated location? We're here at one five three, and I'm not seeing you. The proposal is going to be three nine four uh, on the high the uh, highway. Ten four on the highway. I love that. <laughs> uh, oh, lanes are going to be westbound. The blue one's three or two. Go for 302. Do you advise which highway? Highway 8. Oh my god, why are you so stupid and useless? Fuck. <laughs> AI is a pain in the ass sometimes. That goes to the day. We're gonna have one in, uh, one to tank here. So once we do get on scene here, uh, Constable Anderson, who's a traffic support unit officer, is gonna be conducting a, uh, commercial vehicle inspection, and, uh, once we also get on scene, we'll, we'll get some further details from the, uh, the officers already on scene there. But we're not too far out, I believe. It should just be right around the corner. Really, a five echo five hundred. Go ahead. Show me on scene here at three nine four. Ten four. Why don't you have dog food on you, Buddha? Okay. Hi, right, sir. So, are you sure that you have an ending today? So, what do we got here so far, Butler? Um, so far, I'm not sure. Uh, Brandon was escorting the mail back. Um, looks like he was detained, um, but I haven't found out why. I was just looking for any uh, 
you know, hazardous situations here. I don't see anything. Just about to search the truck, see if there's anything in there. Do uh, the officers have any other details? You were on scene when I got here. Oh no, so we just rolled up vehicles blocking all lanes and then backs up into a civilian vehicle and then hits uh, hits a civilian vehicle, drives forward and then parks here. The, tr the driver did try and back up into me, I did back up. Then he just stopped, Brandon approached him. I don't know what went on from there. His well, behavior did seem like it was influenced with drugs, but that's we yeah, need to check. I got well, it. Yeah, um, a car, two ninety five from him in a vehicle. So, okay. so if um, Anderson's going to be doing a commercial vehicle check, so I can go do an ASD test. Call two ninety. Fertilizer on. Ten four. What's your car yep. motor? Who's car um, is he going to be? He's in a charger. One three two. All right. Confirm one three two. We're just here on highway. Yeah, just at uh, Homer Watson. So, could be a possible. Uh, DUI here, or at least alcohol most likely is looking like it's a factor. So actually, before I even talk to this gentleman, let me go grab my kit for my vehicle. Alrighty, sir. How's it going? My name is Superintendent Rodriguez with the Ontario Provincial Police. How are you doing? Alrighty. Uh, Mark, if you just want to hop in your car and pop your rear door, rear door, ugh, rear door for me. I got you. Alrighty. If you want to turn your lights off, that may help. There we go, thank you. Alrighty, so sir, uh, have you had anything to drink tonight? Or today? Nothing to drink for me. Alright, have you taken any uh, illegal drugs, narcotics, One car, one for one prescription control. drugs, anything like that? Mm -mm. Alrighty, sir. Go ahead. So, to add this Can I get time, a sir, Ross towing down to Postal 152 a for a blue Nissan GTR? 10, for going to be good. Five mics. Radio is quite loud today, so we're actually going to off frequency just while I'm talking to the gentleman. Alrighty, so sir, at this time, I am demanding that you provide a sample of your breath into an approved screening device to allow for a proper analysis of your breath to be made and that you accompany me now for the purpose of taking this test. Do you wish to comply? Good, I'm not drunk. You will see I'm not drunk. Okay, so yes or no, you, do you wish to comply? I'm going to comply with you. Alrighty, sir. So you see this little uh, device here, all I needed to do is just slightly tilt your body to the left and just breathe into uh, this little uh, tube, okay? And I'll tell you when to stop, so let me know when you're ready. I'm ready for anything, Buddha. Okay, sir, so you may begin. Damn, <laughs> my Buddha. That's a powerful breath there. <laughs> Alright, keep blowing. Okay, stop. Alrighty, so let's see uh, what the AS ASD test uh, comes back as. Alrighty, sir. So you failed the ASD test. So um, at this time, you are, be, uh, are well, being. You did not give me time to study. That is not how this test works, sir. So at this time, you are being placed under arrest for impaired operation of a motor vehicle. Okay. So at this time, you have the right to retain and instruct counsel on delay. You also have the right to free and immediate legal advice from duty counsel by making free telephone calls to toll free numbers during business hours and toll free numbers during non business hours. Do you understand? Do not understand. Okay, sir. So when when you do get down to the station, you'll have the ability to make a phone call. Okay. Do you wish to uh, to do that when you get down okay. to the station, sir? Hello. Hi.
Those 2020s do look pretty sexy back there. So, sir, um, do you understand what I, what I explained to you just now? I do not understand you. So I was saying, when you do get down to the station, you'll have the ability to make a phone call, okay? Okay. So, at Bad. that, at that okay. time, you will be able to get legal counsel, and uh, they can help you deal with this situation you're in, alright? Mm -hmm. Now, you also have the right to apply for legal assistance through the Provincial Legal Aid Program. Do you understand? Yes, Buddha. Okay, do you wish to uh, to do that when we get down to the station? No, Buddha. Okay, sir. I am a lawyer. So, if I may ask you, um, what kind of what did you have to drink uh, in the past 24 hours? Water. Water. Okay. So, you're telling me you had no alcoholic beverage in the past 24 hours? No alcohol, Buddha. Okay, any, any cake that may, any cake or anything that may can, uh, contain alcohol? No, Buddha. Alrighty, sir. Because this test is stated otherwise, but, you know. This is wrong, you do not let me study. Okay, that's not how this test works. This is, this is not a math test, it's not a science test, this is just a simple. It's not able Chemical to test. study for the test. That's why I failed that test. Do I use? Well, are you stupid. When when you figured out a study, and do not know the answers to the test, brother. No, when you figured out a study for an ASD test, you definitely let me know because I would like to to know what goes into that uh, study regiment. But anyway, sir, I'm gonna go have a chat with my officers, and uh, then we'll explain what's gonna happen further in a second. Here, okay. Okay. All right, sir. Alright, so what do you gentlemen got for me? Um... Echo was fired past inspection. Okay, um... um anything in the... In the cab that should be noted or no? I believe Inspector um, Butler was the one who went through that. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. So, I guess we can get a heavy towing route uh, to get this transport off of the highway here and then we can start getting lanes reopened or at least the left lane reopened here in a second once we get some cars out of here we gonna get a uh, heavy rescue canada out here a eh? little bit of sergeant carrie schmidt a eh? yeah right on on that one please don't get him started on this one <laughs> <laughs> oh god so mark how's, how's your ride along dude what the it's actually big, fun big old pet peeve eh? <laughs> I have two of the 120s out. This shot's fired, guys. Uh huh? Care. That's a spirit. Really care less. So, uh, Either but AI or those shit ass civilians. Uh, it could be the, um, the firing range right down there. But, Butler, what did you find in the uh, cab there? Right on, right on. <laughs> Rodriguez. Taking a nap, standing. <laughs> yeah. Did he uh, actually? Tell, I got a when lot you fail when it said bottles. that he failed his test. Did he actually tell you that he did not study for it? He did. <laughs> <laughs> Pictures of the cat. Dying. dying, bro. No, let me study. <laughs> like yeah. what? So um, if uh, whoever wants to make a call into radio, and uh, just got a heavy tone, that we can start clearing the scene up. Uh, hey, you're making fun of me. Let's have the probie do it. We can start getting lanes open here. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna clear off. Yeah, Sergeant Carrie Schmidt out here, eh? <laughs> but a heavy rescue 401, eh? <laughs> right on. Yeah, so we're out here with this TT today, there, eh? <laughs> bit of bit of impaired driving, eh? That's what happens when you have Americans on That's Canadian one of my biggest servers. Pet <laughs> Fuck hell. Okay, so yeah, that was an interesting call here. Uh, the African gentleman's gonna be transported back to the attachment for uh, impaired operation, so it's good to get a uh, get dangerous drivers off the roadway here. And uh, we're just gonna be opening uh, the ramp to the Conestoga Parkway northbound momentarily here. We'll leave five echo double one.
Oh, I'm into Rock Channel. That is very awkward. Hang on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Or really, if I have like, double one. Go away. Well, you can show the on ramp to northbound constant of Parkway from Highway reopening shortly. 10 4, just advise when you uh, officially reopen and we'll 